In Boneyard Asif Akbar's murder drama, a police force investigates a known killer in West Mesa, Albuquerque. After finding the buried remains of many dead women, police chief Carter and detectives Young and Ortega locate a killer in the 2009 film. Unbeknownst to the others, Ortega's steadfast but reluctant dedication to the case has personal consequences, making him suspicious of another officer. Another suspect rises when FBI agent Petrovic joins the West Mesa Police Department to share his skills. As the story has different perspectives, the horrific killer's mystery keeps characters and viewers interested. Spoilers ahead. The horrific discovery is made by a local West Mesa resident when their dog unearths human remains in a deserted field. The authorities discover the bodies of 12 women and one unborn child buried under the field after an inquiry. The bodies were likely laid to rest by a serial killer. Agent Petrovic is welcomed by Chief Carter when the mayor insists on enlisting federal assistance due to the seriousness of the situation. But when the FBI agent, an expert in apprehending murderers, offers advice to the team among them, head detectives Young and Ortega Ortega, disagrees with the agent's general assumptions. Detective Tate, on the other hand, evades Petrovic's attention but remains under his suspicion. A few years back, Tate's exploitative treatment of sex workers became public knowledge, and he got himself into serious problems with the police department as a result. Despite his dismissal from the department, he was quickly restored and assigned to the narcotics unit. After hearing suspicions about him, Ortega secretly starts looking into the issue from the same perspective. The detective's suspicions about the identities of the bodies discovered in the graveyard are directly related to the several ladies who have been reported missing as of late. In addition, the police officer's personal stake in finding a solution to the case is high because of the disappearance of sex worker Selena, his niece. Ortega chases Candy, another sex worker who was Selena's go-to before she vanished, for the same reason. The woman tells the police that Selena got into the car with Tate on the night she went missing, despite her initial reluctance to speak to the officer. This information will be recorded. Carter meets with Petrovic to discuss Ortega's suspicions about Tate once he finds out about them. In the end, the latter discloses that the FBI has been monitoring Tate for some time in the hopes of using his fame to bring in more substantial targets, such drug cartels and sex traffickers. Ortega surpasses Carter and approaches the other officer and his sergeant, Graham, despite the lack of evidence against Tate, other than street talk. Caesar Monto, another man who conforms to Petrovic's description of the killer hides in plain sight and frequently pursues multiple women. In particular, he hangs out at one supermarket, where he acts strangely near young women and stares at them. As news of the boneyard spreads, the owner of the mart contacts Petrovic to tell him that he has witnessed Caesar's unusual and creepy behavior with each victim that has entered his mart so far. So, the FBI agent finds out about the repulsive man as he goes about his business, which typically involves approaching sex workers. Is Detective Tate the killer? Detective Tate is now one of the main suspects, at least in Ortega's eyes, in the ongoing investigation into the Boneyard killer. Since he thinks one of the ladies discovered in the field is Selena, his niece, the latter takes a personal interest in the case. Ortega continues to be involved in the case on the notion that he is seeking justice for his niece, even though confirmation will not be available until DNA results are in. Thus, the vice detective is nearly convinced that the other officer is on his side once Candy verifies that she observed Selena getting into Tate's vehicle the previous night. When Ortega contacts Graham and Tate to apprise them of his investigation, he is doing so while experiencing troubling feelings. However, a separate series of events is set in motion by the same. If the FBI is correct, Tate has ties to narcotics cartels. Nevertheless, he is linked to the case because he works for Sergeant Graham, whose department is complicit with an implicating group. Thus, the sergeant comes to the realization that his own crooked operations could be jeopardized when Graham learns that Ortega will be conducting surveillance on his company as a result of Tate. Thus, Graham intends to sell Tate out by convincing a drug dealer to testify against the officer, linking him to the boneyard. The deception is obvious to Ortega, though. 
the department is in a precarious situation due to the early arrest of Tate because they lack solid evidence against him and know that Graham's testimony was planted. In the end, things will get even worse as Tate summons his lawyer and union representative, who will most likely dismantle the probe. Caesar is the next major suspect after Tate in the Boneyard murder investigation. While Ortega focuses on bringing charges against the former suspect, Petrovic is the central figure in Caesar's plot. This FBI agent has built a name for himself as an authority in the field thanks to his lengthy history of pursuing serial killers. A suspect ambushed the family as they sat by the side of the road in 2003, killing the man's daughter Sam. Petrovic feels bad about not apprehending that criminal sooner for the same reason. As a result, his fixation with identifying murderers grew. Petrovic claims that the killer at the boneyard is probably someone who can blend in with their surroundings and stay undetected. In addition, he suspects that his murders are mission-driven, as opposed to the motives of other serial killers. His idea states that the serial murderer targets women who he believes have the power to persuade him to sin. Thus, the similarities become apparent after the novel puts the reader in the shoes of Caesar Monto, a reclusive man with a history of sex worker solicitation arrests. Caesar repeatedly pursues different women throughout the film, either by forcefully enforcing himself on them or by stalking them as his anger boils over. Concurrently, the story reveals that the serial murderer kept killing, frequently burying fresh victims, including Candy. So, it appears that some type of confirmation regarding this link to the deaths arrives when Caesar, after picking up a woman from a street corner, kills her on screen. The store owner contacts Petrovic at about the same time, and both of them come to the same conclusion. Caesar is the killer. The woman who managed to escape the man's assault on her life goes so far as to tell the police that Caesar tried to strangle her before Tate came to her rescue. Even while it implicates the other suspect, the story further exonerates Tate. Thus, the Federal Bureau of Investigations, FBI, arrests Caesar after a raid on his residence. But even the Boneyard DNA sample doesn't match him. Therefore, Caesar wasn't the serial murderer behind the slain bodies, even though he was involved in assaults on specific women. A month later, though, Ortega is summoned once more to the action. On the opposite side of the field, officials uncovered a different graveyard where the corpses of women who had been murdered not long ago were located. This new evidence proves the serial killer is either back at it or was never truly stopped. Watching scenes of an unnamed character burying women gives viewers the impression that the killer is still at large and committing crimes.